Let's oh, get a wow. little, little crack right there. This is a selection that we're gonna drop off. This is what we've been waiting for. Their eyes are getting big. I am so late for this Sunday show. It's 11 o'clock and I was supposed to be there at 8 a.m. Did you guys really think I was gonna get up that early? Absolutely not. I have so much to do. I have to drop off 100 cards at Golden for PSA submission. I have to finish packing. And I have to make sure I can fit all these cards. We had to buy a, Z a Zion slab case. This isn't a joke. This isn't some promotion. But if you guys want a Zion case, use the code Mojo10. Anyway, I'm I'm not even joking, guys. This is like I had to pick this up because I bought 1,000 cards. I bought some good stuff too. I'm not gonna lie. Like look at this Jackie Robinson game used. Got this for 65 bucks. Game used jersey. I mean, there's just so much stuff in here. So I have to find a way, I'm, I can't believe that I'm gonna do this, but just, I had to. Last day of the show during regular time, which would be not football season, Sundays are not bad for the show. During football season, nobody would stay for the show on Sunday. Today is a house cleaning day. Also, I'm gonna do something I've never done before in my entire life, and it's actually the thing I can't stand when we go to card shows. Actually, I've done it, one time and it was a, it was so I was absolutely paranoid as heck. Do you know what that is? I'm gonna check my Zion case. I can't uh, take it with me on the plane. This thing won't fit through TSA. I found out, so I hope it's gonna be okay. Anyway, I didn't put my Brady's or my any of my crazy stuff down under the plane, but I mean that flawless Derek card. There's at least two thousand dollars worth of cards, and there's gonna be a lot of people commenting saying you are risking it. And my thoughts to you guys, do you guys check your cards into the plane? There's no way people do this. There's no way. That's an absolute no, it's a red flag. So anyway, we're gonna go to the show. I'm gonna meet JD up. I need to pop out some slabs. We're gonna crack some slabs and send a PSA and we're gonna see what happens as well. And um, just gonna make the most of it. It's the last freaking day. I am going to have Jeff. Right here, Jeff's right there. Staying busy. Check that. He's gonna crack my FGC or FCG or whatever this company's called. He's gonna crack these slabs. I'm gonna submit them to PSA with my submission to Golden. I'm gonna show you what they look like. We're just gonna just run through. Ricky Henderson, it got a nine. So it says there's something wrong with the corners and the surface. It's a 9.0. We're gonna send that to PSA. And we have another Ricky Henderson. This is all my idea. And this is the Topps Tribute Auto. Beautiful, Ricky Henderson has one of the most beautiful autographs. He was a king of stealing bases. So that's a 9.0. They said the corners are an 8.5, the surface and the edges are 9.0. This is a big one. This is a Boba Shet. They said it's a 10, which would be, I don't know, I guess they don't have a black label. It looks like a black label, but it's a 10. It's a Boba Shet Refractor Auto out of 4 We're gonna send that to PSA. 2021 Topps Archives. And look, he's My getting- My method is to not screw him up. He's, he's getting the equipment out. This is an Albert Pujols on-card autograph. A peel off, 8.5. So they said that the centering and the corners and the surface are 8.5, 8.0, and 9.0. This guy's actually finally doing something. I remember when this guy's base rookie, I bought a BGS 10 one time for $750 and I sold it for like 150. 2020 Topps Chrome, Luis Robert, 9.0. Surface, you guys can read it. So here we go, we're gonna crack that. And then lastly, when you get a sunburn, it's called aloe vera, but this guy's name is Aral Vera. And I was calling him aloe vera in the last few videos in the last year. It's actually Aral Vera, this is a four or five. I picked this up last night at trade night. It's a red, this is my first red Bowman I've ever owned, so. All right, do I have to sign any documents? No. All right, this is it. Witness protection. It's the test of the test. So you're gonna use these? Yeah, these are the old reliables. I've never cracked a FCG, but it looks pretty similar to a PSA. So everyone has their own method, so don't blast me if, if it's different from your method. My method just not to screw them up. Uh, I like to go from the corners. Let's oh, get a wow. little, little crack right there. Was that easier than PSAs? Eh, it's about the same. And then I usually use a much longer screwdriver, but I don't, ha I don't like to pack long screwdrivers. I like to work this in and then just twist it. Just slowly twist. And then that way we should just be able to pull the whole slab apart. Wow. There you go, causing no damage to the card. That's the most important thing. 
Here they go. Goodbye, FCG. What is it, FGC? FCG. FCG. So there you go. Another clean little break there, just right off the corner. What do you think is the easiest slab to crack? What what company? Probably PSA. PSA? Yeah, PSA. The worst is uh, what is it? Beckett? No, it's uh, HGA. HGA. Don't crack HGA. Why is it not possible? They're the the plastic is so thick they're just those things break in a million pieces see sometimes that happens you don't break it all the way through so then i just go up to the top there it goes sgc cracks like butter here it goes wow that was easy. we're gonna drop these off of psa we're gonna see what happens last time i did the psa stuff i thought we did pretty well besides the cop they they didn't like kyle trask which is fine but uh it makes moves we're organizing the submission we're gonna see what happens here it was a great time. This is one of the better Dallas car shows I've been to. And I just think there's there's less shows going on. So there's a lot more opportunities at the Dallas car show, just being the timing on it. Um, there was a local show, you know, in Sacramento and some other stuff, but they're really spacing these shows out now, which is great. So this is a card I picked up last night. Kind of a sneaky, like it's a second, it's like a second year, but it's four or five, the red. This is a selection that we're gonna drop off and all this right here, which is, we're gonna drop these AirPods off, I'm just kidding. These AirPods are actually used to hold these cards in together because it's getting a little crazy. This is what we've been waiting for. It's taken me 72 hours to compile this box and now we drop it off at PSA. This is the moment of truth. We're gonna drop it off at Golden. I love dealing with Golden, especially dropping my PSA sub off because they take care of everything. Look at them, their eyes are getting big. <laughs> Easiest submissions in the business. Golden Auctions and Dallas Card Show. Every time we come here, we drop our cards off to Ferris and Art. Best in the business. Security guys are amazing. Let's go. Last time we were here, they opened cards with us. There you go, with no phone in my hand. There you go, it's better. Because it's, ah! <laughs> uh, got sheet breaks here. How are we doing? I'm doing good. good. What you got? Let's see what you got. Wow, that's a lot. And the AirPods are included as a gift. And the, Air Man, we the AirPods are a placeholder. We're going to consign them. Mojo Ward AirPods. It's, all he has to do is the name, email, and the number of cards you're submitting, and it's a done deal. And you have that link for me still from last night, right? I think I do. Okay. You hear that? They just said I got to count these cards. I put my name, number of cards. I mean, email. Absolutely. So we do have someone in the facility that does process and open this live on camera, and they do type in and do all the manual work and the manual labor for you. And that's why it's just a seamless process. How fast did you get your cards last time? Three to six weeks. How fast did it take you to submit them? Five minutes. Awesome. That's why grading with gold is the way to go. I'm going to count my cards. I'm going to leave them with them. I trust these guys. They take care of me. They got security that's going to protect me at all costs. All right, let's count these. One, two. Actually, let's ask you, how many cards do you think are in here? Let's play a guessing game. Uh, I'll ask I got three. this. I got this. 53. Okay. I'm going to go... I mean, I'm gonna go 70, 80. 92. Whoever gets yeah. it's gonna get the AirPods. Oh a lot. Uh, we got a lot of variety. How many cards do you think are in here? We were asking everybody. 150. 148 cards. All right, 148. He said 150. Hey, 148 cards. Bam, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dang. All right, it's easy as that, boom. Man, we're set up next to you guys. We are, we're lucky. We thought the kid in the suit needed uh, some competition. I know, he's not even here. We're the family in the suit. Family in the suit, oh my gosh. So now it's our, I think fifth or sixth. Wow. Time. Yeah. We were just at uh, Collecticon in Fort Worth last week. Mom, wow. this is our most valuable Air Jordan. How much is that? $400. No way. What are you looking at? We got the ones, Jordan ones. Not my personal favorite colorway, but it's available. Make sure you guys hit him up. I prefer the uh, original colorways. Well, you know, as you get older, again, I can't speak. I can, I'm speaking for myself here. You get older, you know, you can't really. I can't. I can't get away with a pink suit, but there's only so much talented people in this world, and uh, I'm sure he's gonna follow suit. But, uh, no pun intended. But uh, Filipino card investor here, guys. 
great market for Jalen Green. Great market. Make sure you guys keep buying him. If you guys have him for sale, I buy him at 30% comps. All good. Comps don't matter, but to me they do. Yes, people are still digging on a Sunday. Pretty crowded. Dark and Beckett's still going. You digging in the dollar boxes? I am, Jay. How are you doing? What are you looking for? This stuff we can throw in the shop. Yeah. Well, show me like a couple cards you found. Let's see. It. Let's see what your taste. Yeah. Everyone has a different taste. Right. You guys get some inserts, a little fox action in there. I like that. Jordan. Right. You can never go wrong too many Jordans. Only a certain amount of people can like, buy this. You're from Sacramento. When you got a shop in Sacramento. Yep. It hits. You sent me the Duncan unexpectedly. Yeah. And we talked about the trade. So I don't know if you're gonna work on the set. Yeah. But if you're gonna work on it, there's the bigger ones from the set. Wow. I mean, those are your PC stuff, so. Dude, thank you, bro. These are sick. Darren Waller, DeMarcus Cousins. That's sick. That's when we were ripping. When yeah. you could afford to. When you could afford to rip. How much was past and present hobby box? About 35 bucks. I was gonna say 50 bucks. Yeah. Oh. You could get a case on Black Friday from Blowout for like half case for like 400. Crazy. Look at the set. This is the shattered past and present. Oh, those are loose. This like, is the it, first original. Pre cracked one. ice. That's what I was saying, yeah. And then yet, so there was the the dark and the light. How many how many are in the set? Uh, that's most of it. I think you're missing like Shaq and LeBron and Kobe probably, but they're easy. They're comp C all day long. Desmond Ritter. What'd you ask me? Why is everybody what? Why is everybody after Desmond Ritter? This show is theme has been this guy. Am I making a huge mistake here? Let me tell you. So I had two Ritter autos at a Contenders rookie ticket. I bought it trade night on uh, Friday night. I listed it way above comps because 45 people in a matter of an hour wanted to buy it. So something's happening. So I picked that up and trade an hour ago. And now you're the third person, but you bought it. And it's a one money money. 50 bucks. I'll take it, man. Thank you, bro. Hey, appreciate, appreciate you. you. We forgot. Look at this. You're going to like this. I forgot to submit these to PSA. I just bought these fresh from Panini from my boy Steve and Giddy, a.k.a. Sports Car Brokerage. The, hey, I buy guys. He held it down. Up? You held the cards for us. Come on now, Mojo. So I woke up late and Giddy flew out and he, he's like, bro, you gotta, we gotta drop these cards out somewhere. And he gave it to you guys to hold for me. I told him, give it to the iBuy guys. We're gonna sub these. I need to go to Golden and drop these off and then we really gotta go. So look at this. We need your blessing, bro. Kenny Pickett? Oh, two Kenny Pickett's. We got the short print. As much as I, I know what you mean, you can sub it like this. I just if it goes through three different hands, I'd rather just if I if it, if the mistake happens, I'll take I'll take the blame. I don't want to have to think like someone three hands touched this card and it got a seven. If these get sixes and sevens, I'll buy somebody a hundred dollar card in the comments. Like this video, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you soon.